Back in 2013, Royal Enfield surprised everyone with the launch of this Continental GT535. It looked like a proper and classic cafe racer. And six years later, they did it again with the Interceptor and the Continental GT650. All these three motorcycles have one thing in common. They can look even better with only a few changes. This is the kind of approach that I was searching for today's episode. That is why this time you will see two projects. It is very interesting to see how two completely different machines can look so similar with the right choices. And right choices are precisely what we are already used to see with this very popular builder. Welcome to Racer TV. So, let's begin with the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. Very beautiful indeed. There might be many other interesting projects with this motorcycle. But what I admire the most about the project you are watching, is the fact it has small changes. From this perspective, I think it is a great example of what can be achieved with the Interceptor. Just like I said on my test drive video, I see the Interceptor 650 as a rough diamond ready to be lapidated. And this project is precisely the proof of that. If you missed my test drive with this Royal Enfield model, you just have to click on this link. This is another fantastic work of K-Speed Custom in Thailand. You may be a bit confused by this logo on the fuel tank. Diablo Custom Works is a custom parts manufacturer who commissioned this project to K-Speed. This also means that most custom parts used on this motorcycle are available to be purchased. If you check KSB website, you will find most of these accessories. And no, I have not received any sponsorship to show you these accessories on this video. I really believe that these parts can be very useful for all those who want to improve the interceptor or even the Continental GT. And if you ask, which one of them? My answer is, both. The 650, and the 535. Speaking of it, let's start the tour about today's second project. Just like the new Interceptor, the old 535 model, is also a great machine to look good, with only a few changes. The approach on this one, is very similar to the previous project. This also includes, the same kind of accessories from Diablo Custom Works. And here is the end result. A beautiful custom Continental GT535, also built by K-Speed Custom. Obviously, not only because it is written on the background window, but because the style of this project denounces it. As you see, it looks very different from the factory version. But most of the modifications are relatively simple, with the exception of cutting the front forks. I admit that lowering the front suspension is an important change. If we compare it with the new Continental GT650, you will notice that the length of the old model is shorter. 
And this is where the lower suspension helps, creating the illusion of being longer than it really is. The paint scheme on this fuel tank, seems to help the same way. In other words, the two-tone color, makes the fuel tank look lower, but longer. This kind of tire, also gives a huge contribution to the good-looking stance of this cafe racer. Before you ask about this tire brand, let's just say that these are replicas from the Firestone Deluxe Champion. But to be honest, I would prefer the Shinko E270. These Shinko tires have a decent grip, and a beautiful retro and classic style. One of the usual critiques about this engine, is the high vibration caused after 4000 RPM. Personally I can confirm that on this 535 model, it is true. But here is a solution. This exhaust, is known as P-Shooter. The same exhaust model, that I chose for my Honda CX project. The exhaust sound on each one of these motorcycles, is obviously different. Even because the RPM redline on this Royal Enfield, is almost halfway from the one on the Honda. What is interesting, is that according to Philippe, the owner of this beautiful Royal Enfield, the vibration of the engine, almost completely disappeared after the installation of this exhaust. This happened, Probably because the interior of the factory's original exhaust, is too obstructed. Anyway, it is good to know, that an aftermarket exhaust, solves not only the engine vibration problem, but also the sound. Getting back to today's two custom projects. I have to say that although they are based on two different motorcycles, they allow us to see how simple changes, can make a big difference. Especially when things, are tastefully done. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.